everybody welcome to another video I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion and today I thought I'd like to show you our luster kit that we've uh, recently introduced we have two kits we have the shimmer kit and we have the luster kit uh, there is, actually is a couple of shimmers in this one because they match so beautifully with some of the lusters so I wanted to do a demo today and show you what we can do with some of our lusters okay so don't go away, I'll be back in just a moment to show you more. Okay everybody, I'm back again and uh, here we are. I have mixed our resin, I'm using the Barnes Epoxy Glass. So I've mixed that for three minutes, stirring and making sure that I go around that edge frequently during my mixing process to make sure that all the resin is incorporated and mixed properly because otherwise you'll end up with soft spots in your pore and they will never cure. So it's an important little tip for you to, uh, to do that. Okay, the colors we're going to use is the Sage Luster, Pistachio Luster, Beach Sand Luster, Blue Luster, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the base of that, I don't think we can get it again. That's why it's limited edition at this point. Pearl White Luster, which is really lovely. Love that one actually for my geodes. And we've got a bit of Passion Top Cell White as well. Okay, so let's get moving. Okay, so we're just pouring amounts into each cup. And if I wanted more of one color than another, then it's easy. All I do is put more in. I'm going to put more of the blue because I just love it. A little bit of the top cell white. And then we'll also put some for the pearl white luster. Which has become a top seller. It is just beautiful just to have that shimmer in it. It's a real beautiful pearlized white. Okay. I'm actually going to, I don't need that much pistachio, I don't think so. I might just put a bit more into that one. Yeah, that should be fine. Beach, the blue, the top. Beautiful. Okay, off we go. So, all we do with our pastes always give them a stir especially if they've been sitting for a while and then pop into your I need quite that much it's probably fine you only need about five to ten percent of paste color to your resin if you go over that you may end up with problems um, I've seen it happen sometimes with students and what happens is the uh, it's too much for the resin to handle and you have a chemical reaction and it actually uh, bubbles up and it gets really hot and steamy and it's not nice and you've not only ruined it, you can't use it. Uh, but I mean, there's maybe a fire danger. So you've got to be really careful with these things. Just to give you a bit of an indicator, um, half a cup of uh, resin, half a teaspoon of color, full cup of resin, full teaspoon. These are concentrated pigments. So a little bit does go a long way. Less is more, as they say. That's the pistachio, which is really lovely. Beach sand luster, which is a lovely sand color for ocean pores. It's beautiful. Just a really nice luster color. Now, that is in Australia, of course, because other parts of the world, you have different color sands. So, uh, and we're, I have seen them and some of them are like really dark. So uh, obviously you'll need to mix some colors up to make a different sand for your region if that's what you want. But this is really pretty for ours so over here in Australia. This is blue luster, which is such a pretty color. I know it's just gonna be a favorite of mine and I won't be able to probably recreate it, but never mind. We'll just m make the most of it while we've got it. That's the blue luster. You could do a beautiful ocean pour with this kit. Using this, and you could have some of the um, pistachio, and you could add a little bit of blue into that just to give it a, that right hint for sort of down near the shore. Um, and you could mix uh, 
even a couple of the other darker colours um, with the blue um, and for the deeper ocean you could there's no end of what you can do um, don't be afraid to try and mix things and give them a go because honestly you'll be so happy that you created something and you know it'll be unique because no one else will have it and you can mix any of the paste colors together to make a another it's absolutely fine that beautiful pearl white and then i thought we'd probably top, pop in a little bit of our um, top cell as well don't need a lot of that because i haven't got a lot in there so plenty actually okay so we're about there and now the next bit is like where do we start now I haven't really got a lot in mind I did think maybe I might do something that could have even looked maybe like some islands and ocean um, you know we'll, we'll see see kind of how it turns out so I'll start with the darker colors actually what I might do I'll start I'll start with the sage We'll see how that goes so we'll put it around here because it could be around there maybe that could be start of an island maybe another one through here and maybe a bit over here So that's our sage down. I think what we might do next is we can put our pistachio. And we can put a bit over here, it doesn't really matter. Just to get the product onto the board. this gorgeous blue so that could be our ocean coming through Pretty, pretty colour. Can't help but get enthusiastic about it. Smoothing that a little bit over like so, just to cover the board a bit. Okay. With um, resin, it's self-leveling anyway. I like to just help it go to where I want it to go. All right, so now what we might do is we'll use the beach sand color. I'll put that actually maybe even through here. a bit of sand in the in the water we might leave that to one side and come back to it then we've got our beautiful pearl white so we can put that through there maybe a little bit around here Put 
just, just a little bit of top cell white. I'm really not after too much lacing, to be honest with you. I just sort of want to just add just a little bit in to keep it nice and light and airy. Fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the propane torch and I'm just going to break all those bubbles down. And then I'm going to make sure that it's all covered, the board. I'm just picking it up and I'm just tilting it making sure that all the edges, it's all covered out to the edges, and it is. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work it, so I shall do it with the propane, and we'll see how we go with that. We may use the heat gun, but at the moment I'll just go with the propane. And even though I didn't want uh, much in the way of lacing, look at what has appeared anyway. <laughs> so um, that's the one thing with the Colour Passion uh, paste. They lace up beautifully. So, um, okay. So what we're going to do now is we... I might just give it a little bit more with a torch. Just to see if we can just see some more colour peeking through. enough I don't want to overdo it and we'll just leave it sit now for probably about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and I will remove the tape show you how to do that and uh, and then we'll let it sleep for the night okay then I'll uh, be back in just a moment so don't go away hello everybody back again just to remove this tape it's been about 20 minutes so I'm just pulling off the tape taking it away from the art piece because I certainly don't want to drizzle it over. Then just with my fingers, I'm just running around the bottom edge there, not pushing the resin off. I'm just gliding it to make sure that I've got that bottom quarter third covered. And then that way I know that the resin will continue flowing over the top and we will end up with a beautiful side edge. So, I think we'll just leave it at that for now and uh, the magic of video I'll be back before you know it and showing you the end result once it's cured okay don't go away good morning everybody it's Kim here and it's the morning after last night's pour and I just wanted to show you the results of our pour beautiful shimmer that sage is really glistening beautiful in the Sun it's in full sun here, it's in my backyard, and that blue is absolutely stunning. And uh, it, it does look a bit like kind of what I wanted, which was, you can see the beautiful shimmer, sorry, down the bottom here. It looks a bit like water coming through here, and maybe an, a sand island in the middle, and then you've sort of got your, um, what would you call it, sort of coastal shrubbery around there. Use your imagination, of course, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to the next one with you. 
and uh, have a lovely day and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Good morning, everybody. It's Kim here and it's the morning after last night's pour. And I just wanted to show you the results of our pour. Beautiful shimmer. That sage is really glistening, beautiful in the sun. It's in full sun here, it's in my backyard. And that blue is absolutely stunning. And uh, it, it does look a bit like kind of what I wanted, which was, you can see the beautiful shimmer, sorry, down the bottom here. It looks a bit like water coming through here and maybe an, a sand island in the middle. And then you've sort of got your, um, what would you call it? Sort of coastal shrubbery around there. Use your imagination, of course, <laughs> but I'm happy with it. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to the next one with you and uh, have a lovely day and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.